Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Advanced ABAP Training for Wrappers, the RESTful Application Programming Developers. In this video series, we are looking at new ABAP syntax for ABAP developers to get comfortable later on with the RAP training. In this video series so far, we talked about inline data declaration, value expression, and corresponding expression. In our today's episode, we will see how to build condition and conversion expression. Conditions are like if conditions, but if conditions are usually coded as a separate line, whereas the condition expression can be added directly in the line itself to perform a basic if condition on the fly. Whereas the conversion will be used for type casting your variables and their data types from one data type to another which is of course supported by the compiler. Very common concept in software industry. Let's go ahead and now talk about the condition and conversions. So I'm gonna switch over back. I will head over back over here. And here is where we will begin with the next one, next operation, which is the condition and conversion. So let me create a new function. We'll be defining a new method and implementing the same. So I will come back as usual by far what we saw in this video series. I will just go with the condition conversion expression. Let's implement the function condition conversion function. All the source code can be found in the description of this video. So in case you would like to practice these things live in your system, you always have a chance to look at the source code in the description of this video. You can also see our entire video series link in sequence in the description of this video. Now, let's begin with condition and conversion. So, first of all, the conversion. Let me create a data type of LV numc in number numeric character type, let's say numc 04. It's a four character number number. And I will assign a default value as 0600, 600. At the same time, I will create a pure number, LV number, type of integer. Now, usually if you would like to convert data types in ABAP, it can be done quite easily with the help of conversion function. You don't have to use a function module anymore. You can directly use conversion. So I. It is possible definitely to convert this 0600 to a number by adding equals to conversion. As usual, the hashtag, as we all also learning from the previous classes, is used for generic data type. In this case, it will automatically check the target data type, which is in this case an integer. It will convert your numc value to an integer. So this is the conversion, like used for type casting. or matching data type. Yes. So this is the benefit of this. Now, at the same time, I would like to also show you condition. Conditions are like if conditions. They allow you to put conditions in line. In line means within the line. So if you put a if condition, it should be like a new expression. Yes, like this. But what if I want to put the condition within the line of my ABAP code, like I'm looping or I'm doing some processing. And during the processing itself, I would like to return the value then and there itself. Rather than putting a separate block of if I can use condition expression. So to check a simple condition in line with programming code, we can use condition expression. So let me show you. I would like to compare if my given value in the numc is greater than 500 or not. Yes. So what I can do, I can now say my result variable. You can have LV result type C, which is a character to tell whether the number is greater than 500 or not. So I can say LV result equals to condition. And I can say let value. I decide a value. I can say 500. My value is 500. So here I'm creating a variable on the fly. 
Yes. So good news in our app is now we can create a variable using let keyword like other programming languages. So we put that and we say in please check my condition expression. So it is not mandatory to put let and all you can directly put condition but I just wanted to show an additional flavor of also creating a con a variable which will act like a act like a reference variable for us to compare the value and then this variable can be used in our condition. It's very simple when my number is greater than my value variable then I will return a flag as true. Yes else I will return as blank. So you can see this condition can be written in programming blocks. If I compare it with restful application programming model, we also use it heavily during our wrap training. So if I just show you, it can be added. You can see here, I am putting it in a, inside a programming construct itself to compare like, like for example, the status value and returning the output. So this is like a simple condition rather than putting a separate if block it can be added within the within the programming lines and construct itself so i will just activate and i forgot to print this data so let me just say result is and we will get the result and now currently it's 600 gets converted to 600 number that number is compared and the result is produced. So I should be getting X in the response as a result. Uh, so let's go ahead and execute our expression. And here we have the condition expression. And you can see the result is X. If I just go modify my threshold limit to 800, then I should be getting the blank. So the result should be blank this time. Let's go and check that. Yes, it is blank. You can see it's empty. So condition is fully working as expected. So that was a very simple example of conditions and conversion or type casting your data on the fly. I hope you're enjoying this video series. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. If you want to see more content like this, kindly share this with your colleagues in the WhatsApp group of your team so that they also can take advantage of these videos for free. Thank you once again. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.